Wonderful, thank you. So we are going to start our eight talent meetup, how to hire the best university talent. Uh, we, uh, we are going to introduce the, the meetup, then Limno Pharma is going to present Dr. Juan Carlos Morales, then Lenti Sten, and then Biomixing, okay? So um, this is, we are doing all this meetup because we want to connect uh, talents, wonderful talent that you have uh, in the different uh, uh, master that you are performing, the students, and also the good uh, uh, learning opportunities that you might have in, the, in these companies that are very promising companies. And especially today, we have the winner of the, the Access Health uh, uh, Accelerator program. So we really think that there are three companies that have a lot of to say and, uh, and that will be a wonderful opportunity for all of you. So saying that, uh, we are going to give the, the word to uh, Dr. Uh, Juan Carlos Morales that is going to present the uh, possibilities in Limno Pharma. So Juan Carlos, if you want to share your screen, that will be wonderful. Thank you for okay. being with us. Thank you, Luis, for the presentation and for the opportunity. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, excellent. Perfect, perfect. So uh, I'm gonna briefly present uh, Limno Pharma. So we're a company that uh, we're, we were started uh, two years and a half ago, uh, of where our objectives are to find new treatments, especially new drugs uh, to treat uh, ocular diseases. These are definitely uh, uh, very um, uh, worrying pro uh, diseases because uh, a lot of um, uh, the prevalence is really high all over the world. Uh, pathology such as age related macular degeneration, the retinopathy or retinopathy uh, uh, have around well, more than 200 million patients worldwide. We have focused in uh, Lino Pharma in a rare disease that is retinopathy pigmentosa. It has around 2 million patients worldwide and uh, 15,000 in Spain. This is an inherited disease uh, pathology. And, uh, and the patients normally uh, are diagnosed very early when they are children or, or teenagers. And then uh, this disease starts with uh, night vision problems and uh, tunnel vision. And finally, after several years, most of the patients get completely blind. So the, the treatments nowadays are really scarce. Um, there's actually only one treatment and it's only specific for uh, patients with mutation on the gene RP65. This is a gene therapy uh, was approved in 2018, but it's really expensive. And uh, at the same time, only 2% of the patients uh, can, be, can take advantage of this, uh, of this treatment. So uh, as you can see here, there are actually a lot of mutations, different genes uh, that uh, are um, basically really bad for, for the photoreceptors and uh, that uh, start, start the, the disease. And uh, this at the end provokes uh, it is on, on different parameters in the cells that we decided to see if we can control with small molecules. So we started an, an EDCAM program with a natural product. That was a, 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 our HIP molecule that we started uh, make, making chemical modifications. And with this library, we went and did screenings in vitro animals, uh, first in, in zebrafish and then in mice, to get the best molecules in, uh, in these related experimentals and models. So we have now uh, several uh, uh, animal models of uh, retinitis pigmentosa. We have seen efficacy. Uh, you can see here both in, the, in treating the, the mice not only with injection, but also you know that we can actually administer the, the compound LIM21 uh, as a drug uh, with eye drops. And uh, we can see definitely uh, improvement both in the, in the fundus of the eye, and the thickness of the retina. And again, in different models like uh, this one here, 31, uh, administering the drug with eye drops, we can also see that uh, a very good improvement of the, the disease. We are actually delaying the regeneration of these uh, photoreceptors. Not only uh, on different parameters we can measure, but also in a functional assay like this of promotor, where we can see that actually <coughs> the mice. Um, can uh, maintain a lot of the vision with the treatment of 
So when taking a look to the competitors we have in the field, uh, most of the companies are developing drugs as gene therapy, and uh, only a few are going with other approaches like small molecules. And uh, this is our case, and we think that IDOPS could be definitely a very good option for the patients. So we have also proof of concept in other uh, mice model. In this case, it's a model of age-related macular disease that is also a very problematic uh, pathology that uh, it, uh, it can only be treated for those with the wet family, that is uh, the one that has around 10% of the patients, and, uh, and is uh, treated with these injections, uh, intravital injections in the eye. But in the case of the dry MD, there is no treatment at the moment. So this is around 90% of the patients of uh, around 200 million uh, patients worldwide. So in our case with our drug B21, with hydro administration, we also see really uh, delay of the of the uh, retinal degeneration in the mice models and quite efficient. So basically summarizing, we have a drug that can be administered. Uh, for eye drops. It's quite uh, efficient in different mice models, not, not only of retinitis pigmentosa, which is a rare disease, but also uh, AMD, uh, age-related macular disease. And it has the advantages of being a small molecule, and that meaning that it can be upscaled quite easily and uh, doesn't have all the potential immunogenic problems that other biomolecules uh, and other therapies may have. So in this uh, last year, we have actually uh, started the clinical non-regulatory uh, studies. Uh, we have scaled the, the synthesis of the, of the drug up to 80 grams, and we are working also on the final formulation of the eye drop uh, uh, drug. We have done also some experiments on toxicology with, uh, with rabbits, where we saw there is no toxicity signals uh, after 15 days uh, of treatment, three times a day. And we have also been doing biodistribution studies uh, on different animal models, animal models, rats, rabbits, and pigs. But we have seen that after administering the, the, the drug with eye drops, we could reach the back of the eye uh, in amounts that are uh, quite significant, uh, around micro, a microgram, in the microgram scale per gram of drug tissue, which is quite uh, notable. So of course we have uh, all this technology protected. Uh, the patents are granted now in the United States, and we are in the process of granting these patents in Europe and other countries. And just uh, uh, some words about the market, that the money is quite big. The only drug that is uh, out there for uh, wet AMB uh, is uh, uh, anti bgf like IDEA. And uh, in fact, in 2018, this was a drug among the 10 top selling drugs. If you extrapolate this uh, huge market to the other diseases that have no treatment now, we are talking about a, a market of around $120 billion. That is huge. So our business model is um, uh, to take our drug development from proof of concept where we are now, uh, do the clinical laboratory studies, and then do uh, phase one and two uh, human studies, the clinical trials on ready experimentosa, most probably, although we can we have to decide yet if we go to RP or, or to isolated macular disease. And then we'll do an exit of the, uh, of the, of the investment, either by licensing the, the, the general technologies to, to the pharma or the candidate co develop the drugs with, uh, with them. And we are making contact with the pharma uh, in the ophthalmology sector. So at the moment, we are in Q1 of 2022, and we're basically, at the moment, uh, continue doing some the clinical uh, non regulatory studies and trying to raise money to, to do the, uh, the clinical studies. So basically, we, we finished our seed round. We're now raising Series A and uh, around $5 million to do all this part, and then we'll go to the clinical phase. Yeah, so that you know the team, uh, we are uh, five scientists, uh, most of us with background in the in industry. Uh, and, uh, when, and we have been basically doing research and business in companies all over the world, uh, in some of them that are really, uh, for sure you know most of them. We also have a, a good scientific advisory board that are <coughs> experts on RP and on AMD. 
and also understanding uh, BlackBerry uh, technologies. We have been uh, awarding different awards uh, since 2019, uh, nationally and also in Europe. And we have been uh, lucky to get the help of different organizations like uh, TTS and also our institutions and, uh, and small investments. And uh, at the moment, we are uh, basically, as I said, doing some experiments on non regulatory clinical studies, but we are also raising the money to do the next steps. And at the same time, we are trying to design the clinical trial. It may look that it's soon, it's very soon to do that, but it's not that soon. And we are actually uh, taking a look in detail to the clinical trials in different regions in Mendoza and A and B uh, uh, trials out there to do the best design for our our experiments. So I will definitely will be really uh, nice if we can get uh, people to help us on this, and also to review other pathologies on the on the retinal degeneration uh, diseases and also to help us with the analysis of the, of the competitors uh, out, there, out there that's basically all i wanted to share with you but i'm open to questions either in english or spanish wonderful juan carlos thank you so much uh, thank you for your nice presentation. Um, it's good to see how you are improving. So any question? I have a, a question about the number of students that you are accepting. Uh, I don't know. Year, yeah. And your experience, we, if you can explain a little bit what your, yeah. what's your experience with the so we have, at the moment we, Prize master students. Wonderful. Yeah. So last year we got two master students and they were helping us uh, basically uh, to look the, the competitors in, in different diseases, and also to look uh, the the most important parameters in the clinical trials of these diseases out there. So we want to continue to do this because we have to update this uh, with high frequency and start designing our own clinical trials. So it would be great if we can get the students interested in this uh, in clinical trials and how to design them because they are. Uh, factors that are really key uh, in this uh, human experience with humans, and it would be really nice to have them helping us to do that. Of course, they will. Of course, they will learn with us how to do this. And uh, and uh, our experience in the in the last two years with the students have been really really good. In, in, more, in the three cases we have in the in the company, uh, we try uh, that they also come to our meetings, internal meetings, so that they not only help us with whatever they're doing for the for the master, but also they they know what kind of things we discuss in relation with experiments, in relation with uh, relations with investors, in relation with uh, uh, contact with, with pharma companies, and, uh, and all, all the development that we, we do every single day. OK, wonderful, Juan Carlos. That's okay. really a wonderful opportunity. It's not just to review clinicaltrials.gov and to study all of that. It's a lot of things more. And, yeah, and also and the interaction. To, yeah, we is, they also take part of all that in the meetings so that they can learn other things, not only the clinical trials. OK, that sounds wonderful. Any question from the audience? <clears throat> if not, you have the contact from Juan Carlos here. You have the presentation, everything is recorded. So I know that is a lot of information to process. So maybe you have to review it uh, uh, at home and to see, and then you address question and see, because this is really a wonderful opportunity for all of you. So. So thank you so much, Juan Carlos. And we are coming now. Maria is here, and she's going to present Lentiste, another very promising company. Thank you, Lourdes. Thank you for the invitation. Hello, all. I'm going to share my screen. OK. Um, now you can see my screen, no? I'm trying to put it in whole screen, yeah. Okay, 
So yes, I am, I am Maria, I am the DSO, CSO of Dentistem Biotech. We are a R&D based company, which are focused in the development of new technologies to improve efficacy and safety of gene therapy uh, strategies, but mm, with a special emphasis on CAR T cells. I imagine you all know that these therapies are very uh, disruptive therapy that has revolution the, revolutionized the cancer panorama because beats the cancer in a very, very powerful way. So uh, the, we are, the areas we are, we will work on is CAR T cell therapies, but also uh, gene therapy, um, as an advanced therapeutic medical product, which is uh, the DECAR. So have a different regulation and focus on leukemia, lymphomas, and more specialists, uh, specialized on solid tumors. And again, we need people to help us with the review of clinical trials and also the, the design, the project management, and analysis of the market, which is a, a market that changed a lot in a very <laughs> small period of time, and of course, of the competitors also. I, I think you, uh, I, okay, sorry. Okay, so um, we're a spin off promoted by the Andalusian Public Health System. It was originated from the group of Francisco Martin. With more than 30 years of experience in the field of gene therapy and cell therapy, we are located here in Genio, it's in the corner of the BTS, it's a black uh, uh, building. And we have here all the facilities to produce the antiviral vector, which is one of our tools, the cell culture. And uh, also, we have access to the uh, animal facilities, and we have also collaboration with different hospitals, mainly in Cordoba. So the latest uh, time was founded in 2016, and we have been developing our patents and know-how. We have also achieved uh, several funding, uh, two industrial PhD and a neotech project and some private investment. And I want to highlight that this year we have uh, been uh, awarded with a collaborative uh, strategic party project with different uh, institutions in order to implement the technologies of NTSTEN to CAR T cells application. This is our team. This is our main founder, Francisco Martin. Uh, Carlos Martin is our CEO. He has experience in management of different companies. Uh, this is me. And this is uh, uh, my colleagues, uh, Pedro and Carlos, which are, are, are our um, uh, PhD students with doctoral industry. And we have a great advisory board with the presence of Professor Juan Antonio Marchal, Miguel Garcia Toscano, Professor Pablo Galindo, Juan José Díaz Muchono, Veronica Young. They have uh, a lot of experience or their experience in cancer and in this mixture of biotech uh, science profile. Well, a bit more of science, a bit more of our problem. Unfortunately, um, you know that cancer is a leading cause of death in the world uh, and they can became refractory after several lines of treatment. And this is mean that the patient has no more options. And this is where CAR T cell has emerged in a personalized, targeted, and very effective therapy that uh, beats the cancer. Is uh, CAR T cells are living drugs. And this is what it means. Uh, the T cells, which is a cell type of the blood of the refractory patient, are isolated and are modified genetically with a virus that encodes the CAR. The CAR is this protein, this chimeric antigen receptor, that is going to redirect now the killing potential of these T cells in a very powerful and specific manner. This, the success of this therapy is great. We have already five CAR T uh, commercial products against hematological tumors, but there is still a, a real a many high medical need for improving this therapy. The first point is there is a lack of efficacy in the 60, 40, 60% of the patients that have been treated with CAR T cells relapse after one year. Uh, on the other hand, solid tumor, mm, they are very, very difficult to, to, to harden, and there is no any effective CAR T cell therapy against that. Uh, on the other hand, the second point is that we can, we have uh, exhibit several important toxicities like the cytokarbidic syndrome that you may have, not, uh, have heard about is a complication also in the COVID and problems with neurotoxicity. So as you can see, uh, they are very adverse. And another problem in this, uh, that determines the, uh, the success of the therapy is the manufacturing, because we are using living drugs. We are using cells, T cells that have a really poor quality because they, they are from patients that has been really heavily treated. 
after several lines of uh, chemotherapy or radiotherapy or other uh, drugs. So we have these cells that need to be expanded, ex vivo, and the shorter time, the better for improve the, the quality and, and, the, and that determine the, the, the succeed of the therapy. So these, uh, these um, problems can be partially explained by a hard expression of the CAR in the cell surface. Because now in the gene therapy of this, uh, the CAR cell therapy, the idea is to express the CAR a lot in the, in the membrane. But we know now that it's not always the best because this high expression of the CAR can be associated with a higher exhaustion of the T cells that uh, results in a low persistence inside the body, and in the end, we have a reduced potency. From Lenti's thing, we want to solve this uh, acting as a GR level, like, of, like a GR level of the CAR, because we want to control that CAR expression, to control that CAR activity in two different manners, with two different technologies, with the O technology and the Lenton Plus. Uh, one of the characteristics of the, the main characteristic of this therapy, these technologies is that they are very versatile because they can be implemented uh, in every CAR cell therapy design or immunotherapy or gene therapy strategies. Like you put the GR in the CAR, you know? this is the, the idea. So we have these two technologies and as proof of concept, we have implemented the O technology to generate the AWARI product, which is an anti-CD19 CAR cell therapy, so it's against hematological tumors, and we expect it to enter into a clinical trial in next year. But we are talking here a bit more about the Lenton Plus, which is our more disruptive technology. Lenton Plus is like an on-off uh, switch, as because we uh, because the, the clinician if uh, can give uh, the patient uh, doxycycline, which is an inocus drug, is an antibiotic, and we on the system, we can start uh, having the activity of the CAR T cells. As you can see here in this uh, image of the animals, if we don't have, if we don't provide the doxycycline to the mouse, we don't see uh, bioluminescence. So the system is off. And when we put it, we have uh, observed an on of the system. This is uh, Lenton Plus is unique in the in the world. We can have a very fine tune control. We have a great sensitivity. As you can see, he, as you can uh, see in this graph, we, in the in the blue lines is our system, and this is our main competitor, Takara. And with only 0.1, I mean, uh, 100 picograms of doxycycline, which is a very extremely strongly uh, low dosis, is very far away from the bacteria, not killing vitro. We have difference, and we have achieved in liver regulation. Now we are in this point to implement the Lenton Plus system, this on-off system to uh, generate inducible CAR T cells for the treatment of pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer is the, the, one of the most difficult bone tumors, very aggressive, and only the 10% of the patients uh, can have a solution. So the 90% of the patient doesn't have any, any other option. So we are using this system to express, to control the expression of a very potent antoxic cytokine, which is interleukin 18, sorry, so this is the idea. We put the drug of the user. We have the normal CAR T cell, the classical CAR T cell, and we can control the expression of this very potent uh, cytokine. And we are implemented against pancreatic uh, cancer. We have now very, very promising results. So we will see it. And finally, uh, as I told you, CAR T cells are living drugs, and they are advanced therapeutic medical products. So the regulation, the, the development, is a bit uh, different from a classical drug. So we need to produce first the plasmid for generate lentiviral, product, lentiviral vector, which are our tool under GMP. And we will have uh, as partner Bio Biotech. It's a nice specialized company to do that. And finally, the blood collection, the CAR T cell production in this the fantastic bioreactor, this is Minimax Prodigy. And the administration will be in collaboration with different hospitals, special we have starting with the Hospital uh, Universitario Reina Sofia. And this is all. Uh, we are working on, on generate safer and more efficient therapies because we want to push to the front line this CAR T cell therapy. And um, thank you. Lourdes, I cannot hear you.
sorry, I didn't, I forgot to, to put my mic. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so thank you so much, Maria, for your nice presentation. It's thank wonderful you. and it's a great opportunity for, for all of you. Now, I think that, can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay, wonderful. So, uh, so I don't know if you have any other question, any question, any curiosity is a company that have a, a, a lot of potential and have a lot of opportunities, uh, as you can see. Uh, I, don't, I don't see any question from the audience. If you want to take the mic and ask directly, it's totally okay also. If not, uh, you have the information and you can review it, study, and maybe uh, ask uh, to us or, or to the company uh, uh, if you have any question later, okay? Okay, thank you. Uh, I will spare so many questions, please. <laughs> okay, for well, it's not, I mean, uh, for the car production is needed uh, by our reactors and we have a company here that produce bio reactor that is bio mixing. So Javier, you are here to present your uh, opportunity to the students. Uh, if you want to share your screen, uh, that will be wonderful and you can do your presentation. Thank you very much to all of you. Okay. Uh... I think that I have to. Yeah. You have to share us. Okay. Okay. Okay, first of all, hello, everyone, and thank you very much, uh, Lourdes and the PTS, for the great uh, work you, you do to, to, to help uh, the, the companies and also the students uh, to, to collaborate and to grow in, this, in these markets. Okay, uh, I'm Javier Davila, and together with Ines Herrero, we are the founders of Biomixing. This, are, this is a spin-off of the University of Seville. Uh, in fact, it's a spin-off of another engineering company, also a spin-off of the, of the University of Seville, and we are focused uh, in Biomixing in, in the, in the bioreactor uh, technologies. So probably you, you know very well what are bioreactors and what are they, they for. They are uh, very much uh, used uh, to to produce very complex organic compounds, which uh, can be used for, for example, for cancer treatment, as just Maria Tristan uh, explained very well. But also to produce vaccines and and many many uh, treatments. Okay, uh, so we we are focusing on on the engineering on, on of these uh, bioreactors, especially in in steel bioreactors. Uh, these are the, all the components that you can, could find in a bioreactor, the bell cell, pumps, aerators, agitation system, heating or cooling sensors for pH, oxygen, many other parameters, filters, automatic control software. Okay, uh, We are now uh, mainly focused on, on these two components. So we, we produce these components and, and design uh, the components. Here you can see the, the standard typical uh, agitation or agitators that are used uh, in commercial uh, bioreactors. And this is where we are focusing now. Okay, uh, so what are the, the main pains that you, you uh, could find in, in related with the use of bioreactors? The first one is uh, that the, usually the processing time is, is too long. We, we want to, to do it, uh, everything faster. Uh, uh, the quality of the of the products or or the cells uh, is, could be could be improved. Uh, the equipment is is very expensive, and this is very important uh, mainly for small companies which are uh, trying to introduce a new a new uh, drug, for example. And uh, as you may know, also the uh, usually in the production uh, chain we we have to do many steps, uh, starting from a very small bioreactor. Uh, trying to predict what is going to be the behavior of uh, a bioreactor, which is much uh, larger uh, for the industrial uh, production. So what are the, our solutions? We have developed uh, several uh, components. Uh, when I mean uh, components, uh, I mean the uh, different geometries of, of the agitation system, the aeration system as well. 
okay and with that uh, also uh, we have developed um, simulation uh, numerical simulations to to uh, to predict the behavior of of the of the bioreactor and this is very useful for the for the problem that we i just mentioned about the the, the scaling so we can predict the the behavior of large uh, bioreactor in terms of, of what we see or, or, or the experimental work that uh, you obtain in, in small bioreactors. We, with our diffuser and agitation system, we can produce uh, the processing time by more than 50%, which is very important for the pharma and biotech uh, companies. And we produce a better mixing, which means higher qual quality because all the, the culture is growing at, at the same time with the, with the same uh, properties. And uh, because we have a very efficient equipment, we, we in the end uh, have uh, or produce a, a, a saving in the investment because with the, with the same equipment, they can produce uh, much more product. Okay. So we are now in the process of, of patenting this this uh, this technology. Probably in the in the, in the next month uh, we will submit the, the the patent. It's a complex patent because I mean probably you do, you have not uh, have not been working in the field of of this uh, fluid dynamics inside the bioreactor, but we have to define the geometries and how we uh, we generate the, the movement of the of the media inside the bioreactor. Uh, taking into account also the, the the shear stress on the culture because some some of the culture is is, is shear uh, sensitive, and and for that we 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 have to define very well how is this uh, problem solved and and this is uh, why this pattern is is, is taking a, a bit long uh, because it's a, co a complex problem. Okay, so just to summarize, as, as you have seen, uh, we, we are focused on the, on the design and production of bioreactor components, starting from uh, mixing devices and aeration system. Okay, uh, you have seen the, 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 the typical problems that uh, the, the industry have uh, when they are using bioreactors and the solution that we, we have obtained. Here you have our, our contact data, our email. Please email and uh, ask any question now, or if you prefer, you can also do it by, by email. Uh, and here is probably what it is more, more important for you. What are we looking for uh, from the students? Uh, we are looking for enthusiasm, motivation, and also very important for us is the knowledge on bioprocessing because in, in our company, we have been more focused on the engineering part and we probably you can help us very much uh, to to improve our knowledge on bioprocessing the, the companies that are using this bioreactor in in for example europe or, or, or in the us and of course uh, we are also looking for people who is interested in in lab an analysis we were thinking that maybe uh, you can do some experimental work in collaboration with uh, one of the departments at the University of Granada or some of the companies uh, that are co uh, working uh, in the PTS uh, or any other institute that, they, that uh, you know, so that uh, we can do some collaboration with, the, with that, those departments. And, and together with the student, we can, we can do the, uh, an experimental work to, to compare uh, different systems and different cultures. Okay, so that's the end. So please, please make any question you you may have. So thank you very much, Javier. I don't see question in the chat. If you want to to ask directly, it's perfectly okay. I'm going to share my screen. Also, that is exactly the same. Okay, one second. Okay, uh, if you don't have any question, I mean, I see uh, Loles Baby, uh, just for your information, is also a company that is working with different companies in the, in the PTS, and I see potential also, uh, potential interaction with other companies that you, you usually take or accept uh, bioenterprise uh, 
students uh, in the summer. I'm thinking Destina, uh, Leiden Labs, I'm thinking in Bircella, I'm thinking in Master Yannos, many, many companies ca we can do things uh, also together with the, with the students. Um, if there is no any question, I mean, you have the contacts from Javier and from Ines, so maybe uh, you can study uh, a little bit more about the company or directly ask questions and see if that could be an opportunity for you. And I just wanted to, if you have any other question or anything else, just mention, just to, to, to thank you to, to all the three companies because they are uh, winners of the Assets Health Acceleration programs, as I mentioned before, and they did a wonderful, I mean, it's, it's wonderful to work with them and uh, have the three of them a lot of potential. And yet I wanted also to mention that the InnoCore Challenge we will uh, is launched in, in the website of InnoCore uh, European Project because these uh, activities also belong to, the, to this InnoCore Project, uh, European Project. And that we are going to have a session for master and PhD student for question and answer next uh, February the second at 3.30 at that time. So if you don't have any other question, yes, uh, we will finish now. And I wanted to thank you to all of you. And wish you a wonderful day and the rest of the week. Okay. Okay. Thank you thank so you. much. Bye. Thank you for the invitation. Bye. 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 Bye, Bye now. Bye.